We're not going anywhere. We're in it together. 5.2 million Americans affected. The sixth leading cause of death with 500,000 people dying every year and $214 billion spent on care. And I'll never forget being in our kitchen, the phone, phone ring and my mom calling and said, hey dad, got his MRI and scan at the doctor's office. And I said, okay, so what did it say? And she had a big long pause and said, your dad's brain has shrunk. He has the brain of like a 13 year old. Uh, he has Alzheimer's dementia. Barring the development of medical breakthroughs to prevent, slow, or stop the disease, those numbers will only rise. But the number that matters to you is the one you love. Okay, my name is Cheryl Chamberlain. This is my husband, Roger. We have a 28-year-old daughter and a 17-month-old grandson that we're extremely proud of. The one who took care of you, but now you are taking care of them. The one who will hold your hand and give you strength, and now that same hand needs your strength. He didn't know my name for a long time, and the day of the walk, we had uh, their shirts on with Team Ron Healy, and uh, he, he remembered my name that day. It had been a lot. I thought the doctor was wrong because Roger was only 58 years old. I didn't know anybody 58 years old that had this. And we walked out and really didn't know any more than when we walked in. But we stand strong. We stand together. Caregivers, families, the medical community, those fighting the disease, and the Alzheimer's Association. Because at the time we really had nowhere to go, didn't know what to do, and needed some direction and feedback. And so the association gave us some next steps of what we should do, what we should look for. And my mom got involved in a support group, which is really big for her, uh, to provide that emotional support that she needed because as a primary caregiver, she is much more engaged on a daily basis with my dad and the changes to my dad than I was. And then one of the things also at the Alzheimer's Association is that they're assisting us under a respite grant program in paying for a portion of Roger's daycare. But then just the support that I know that I could reach out to anyone in that office, I think that they would give me a hug if nothing else and direct me to the right place that I needed. And I just think that kind of support goes a long, long ways. It's really difficult. Sometimes I wish that I didn't know that it could be a 50-50 chance and just live life with the bliss. But knowing that that could be my destiny, it could be my fate, it could be my kids' fate, it puts a whole new perspective on the urgency to try to find a cure. We ask you to join our cause. Donate, volunteer, support. The one you love could one day live in a world without Alzheimer's disease. My mother, Doris Wood, was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease 12 years ago. She is living with Alzheimer's disease, so my family decided upon finding out the diagnosis to learn as much about the disease as we possibly could. My father passed away from Alzheimer's two years ago, 
And at that time, we knew nothing about the Alzheimer's Association. So one of the things that we do as a family, right after he passed away, we found out about the organization, so we're doing the walk now for that. I think it's important that people know that there's help out there because uh, we learned that caregivers often, they'll pass before the person with Alzheimer's does just because of the stress involved with taking care of someone. So it's very important that people understand what the services are and that they're there for them and they're free. There's so many things that the Alzheimer's Association can do. I mean, they have so many ways that they can help you. Not just the person that has the disease, but the family. Without somebody to talk to, you just kind of get trapped into this bubble, which is, can be dangerous for a caregiver. Women typically suffer from Alzheimer's disease more often than men, so that's something that we, we typically see more with our elderly female populations. For my family especially, there were five generations of all women, and we do need to find a cure for this so that my family doesn't suffer with this. I think that as women, we just have to know what our risk factors are. We have to work on doing everything we can not to get Alzheimer's. I personally have lost 50 pounds. I'm eating well these days. And I think most of all, I'm just talking to women and letting them know that there are, there are preventive measures, and many of them are just like preventing any other chronic disease. We just have to take care of ourselves. For the first time, I have been engaged in this, and it has made me personally more aware of what others are going through. I really hope that people realize how important it is. It's not just a donation, like you really are changing someone's life. Even if you don't know anyone, or you're not you know, close to the cause yourself, you could do the walk or something small like that. You know, Doing every, anything can help. Just supporting it, even if you're not affected by it, can make a difference. It is a colorful display with the intent to honor, to remember, to care, and to fight. Let's fight this fight together, everybody. Let's hear it.